Hey guys, how's it going? Blue Dreamer here. Uh, today we're doing a video on pest control. I'm gonna go in depth a little bit on uh, everything that I think you need to know about this game. Uh, one of the easiest mini games in my opinion so far. Uh, it is a little bit more time consuming than some of the other ones because you have to go through four waves of uh, creatures and uh, four waves of portals. Uh, the portals give you a chance to heal up though, so it's nice. You really don't use a whole lot of food at all. And uh, every time you actually complete the game, your points go up if you just restart and re-complete re it. As you can see right here, I've got nine pest points just for that one game. Uh, your first game, you'll get three. Second game, you'll get four. Uh, third game, you'll get five. So on and so forth, all the way up till 20. At 20 pest control points, the counter will actually reset. You'll go back down to 3, and then go to 4, and then 5, and so on and so forth. Uh, so just keep that in mind whenever you're doing this game. If you got, It takes maybe an hour, uh, if you have a pretty good gear set up, to go through all uh, 20 pest control points before it resets. You know, And that pretty much gets you enough for one of the items in the shop. Uh, I've already actually done about 20 waves so far, but I do want to go ahead and uh, test something here and just find out if uh, I actually die. It'll reset my pest control uh, points all the way back down to uh, 3. So we're going to go ahead and test that out right here. I'm not going to heal up. I'm just going to let them kill me. So let's see what happens. See if it resets me back down. Uh, of course we get the portal right before we die. The portal never even does any damage on you, uh, or at least on me. I don't know if it can, but it never has. It might just be how much armor I have, but I don't think it's there for anything other than uh, a little bit of time fodder. So there you go. Got defeated right there. Going to go through one run uh, pretty quickly here and see if that actually resets me all the way back down to three pest control points or if it'll keep going in line. If you back out or anything while you're in this mini game, it will reset you down to three. Um, you know, so make sure you don't do that unless you know, you get a call or something or something happens in real life that's more important than the game. Um, then of course, you know, but hint, hint, there's nothing more important than Stakescape, so there you have it. right as you can see it is pretty time consuming uh, but with my current setup I'm going purely melee uh, using the Zamorak God Sword for my base attack and whenever I want to heal up special with the Saradaman God Sword uh, does a pretty good job of healing you especially on the portals itself because uh, they're pretty weak compared to all the other ones uh, but I do suggest that if you're healing on anything other than the portal you wait till you see one of the brawlers, which is the big green ape looking thing. But, you know, it doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes, you know, you get below 40 health and you want to heal up a little bit. You just use your special when you can. Here we go, third portal coming in right now. Not too far away from uh, getting on that fourth one. Like I said, this is melee only right now. I'm not using any mage or range or anything like that. Uh, as far as I know, there's like not a weakness type specifically for it, but my highest base uh, damage per second weapon is the Zamorak God Sword. Um, so that's what I'm using. about to be on the fourth and final portal here we go go through this pretty quickly right now and there you have it that answers my question if you die as long as you restart and don't back out or anything it won't reset your pest control points so there you have it I'm gonna go ahead and refill my food and exit this because I should have enough uh, points for what I want but real quick before I go into the pest control shop, I'm just going to show you my setup here, guys. Um, weapon stats, damage for the Zamorak God Sword is 50. Potential heal spec is 50 on the Saradaman God Sword. Uh, I have hit, I think, a 64 with it was my max hit that I've gotten so far. 
so that's a pretty good weapon. And then right here, I've got my Berserker Helm, Torags, Bando's Boots. I have my Dragon Defender instead of my DFS on right now just for the extra 5 attack bonus uh, that it gives. My Warrior Ring, my Fury Amulet, Obsidian Cape, and my Penance Gloves. Let's go down here and check out the stats. So as you can see, the Berserker Helm gives me 20. The Bandos Boots gives me 35. That bumps me up to 55. Another 55 from the Warrior Ring, so we're sitting at 110. Another 50 from the Fury, so that's 160. 170 after we include the Penance Gloves and a whopping 210 uh, attack bonus uh, from this gear setup that I have right here. So it's pretty nice attack bonus. Not really worried too much about the... Uh, uh, defense at all really I'm gonna go ahead and get back into my normal setup here because I'm done with pest control for a little while um, so let's go over into the shop and look at that I got 290 points to spend let's see void gloves void mage helm range helm melee helm void knight top Void Knight robe. Um, let's see. You know, if you do check in the items, you'll notice that Void isn't in any of the uh, item information slots, so you can't check the stats for those uh, right there. And so at first I thought, man, I'm only going to be able to tell which item I want to get um, by just getting the item and then comparing the stats afterwards and hoping you know kind of for the best I'm thinking right now that I want the gloves alright but as you can see here on the discord there's a spreadsheet that this guy named ADG made really good spreadsheet let's go ahead and click on it check and see if the void items are in there Give it a second to load up. My internet's kind of slow. All right, let's see here. The attack bonus for the Void Knight top is actually 80 which is better than anything in game for melee that's absolutely insane it doesn't have any defense but the melee bonus is freaking 80 crazy stuff right there let's, let's check out the void gloves oh wow the void knight gloves have an attack bonus of 80 as well uh, better attack bonus than anything in game um, of course crappy defense but holy crap look at that attack bonus I think it's going to be 80 for each one of the items, but uh, let's check it out and see. Alright, Void Mage Helm gives you a 90 attack bonus to Mage, an 80 attack bonus to Melee, and a 90 attack bonus to Range. That's pretty freaking sweet. Let's check it out, make sure we got the same thing here with the Void Knight Robe. Uh, and again, 80 on that, so... Uh, in case you're wondering, the stats are pretty much 80 except for the helmets. And the helmets are you're going to be looking at 90 for the range and the mage, and 80 on the melee. So let's go back over here using that information uh, that we have so far. I think that I definitely am going to go for the gloves because that's going to be a huge game changer. Uh, for me, because my gloves right now are pretty, pretty crappy. Rocking the penance gloves, you know, is a nice, nice set of starter gloves. But if you go over here and look at uh, the stats on it, it's got 20 defense and 10 attack. So yeah, uh, I'd say let's go ahead and switch that out for something a little bit more high class. Go over here to the shop, to the void. Get those Void Knight gloves, 150 pest control points. 
Boom, bada bing, bada bang. Let's go equip those bad boys real quick. All right, oh, almost forgot to put that on. Mm-hmm, feeling out pretty, pretty nice. Got a good little start going here. You can see some of my items. And uh, you know what, I'm happy with the progress I've made so far. Really wouldn't have been able to do it without all these sharks and the starting gear that I got uh, from one of the nice fellows over on Discord. So again, if you haven't gotten on the Discord already, I advise you do. It's great. You can get your game help there. You can put in suggestions that the uh, project leaders will see. Uh, you know, you can advertise your YouTube videos if you're a YouTuber like me making videos. Uh, they have an advertise section. Uh, you know, they have a section for everything general, off topic, buy and sell. Once the auction house gets fixed, that'll be useful for a lot more people. Uh, so if you don't have the Discord already, I highly suggest it. Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, until next time, see you again.